Hey, what is up, guys? This is James, and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you five different plugins that you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro to speed up your workflow. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So, the first plugin that I like for Adobe Premiere Pro is a Juice plugin. If I go to a Juice website, you can see there is a sales going on for the holiday season. You can purchase their all in one package for $199. The regular cost for this package is $8,412. So if you want to purchase their premium package, then you can purchase this today to save some money, right? So if you want to use Aegis free plugin, you need to go to here, which is free plugin section. Then you have to download the plugin for your device. If you are using Windows, then you have to download the Windows version. And if you are using Mac, then you have to download the Mac version. I am Windows user. I have already downloaded and installed that app. Just download it and click install. Then it will install the application automatically. Now get back to Adobe Premiere Pro. And from here, go to Window and then click Extension. And from here, you will see a option called Aegis Pack Manager 4. If you don't find it, then you have to restart your computer or you can try restarting the Adobe Premiere Pro application. Click here to open Aegis Pack Manager. From here, you can take access of your packages. If you don't see any packages, then please sign in with your account. Then you will see available packages for your account. I have already purchased two separate pack of Aegis. Uh, so this thing is appearing here. If you don't see this, because you haven't purchased those things. If you purchase any package from there, then it will show on the purchased section. If you haven't purchased any packages, then you can still use their free packages, which is very great. The first one is starter package. If I click here, then you'll see there are several things here. First, if I go to liquid element section, you'll see there are some liquid elements that you can use for your video. Then slides, there are some slides animation for photos. Then you can use liquid transition. Suppose here on this video, I want a transition, right? So I can just click and drag it here to import it in Adobe Premiere Pro. Just wait for a while. A Juice Pack Manager will download the transition and then you can use it. So it has downloaded the transition. Now you can use it. Just adjust the position. If I play it back, now you can see there is a transition going on here. You can change the color of this transition. Select the transition, then go to window and from here, go to essential graphics change the color that you want maybe a blue one or teal one whatever you want if i play it back now now you can see the color have been changed right you can also use separate titles from here if i go to title section then you can click or double click here to input the title on your timeline and then you can adjust the text that you want just wait for a while so that Aegis Pack Manager can download it and it will be available for edit, right? So here is the text. You can adjust the position of the text where you want to place it. Now click here and then go to Essential Graphics Panel. From here you can change. Maybe you can write Travel, right? And then you can change the font that you want. You can change the color of the text whatever you want from the essential graphics panel so that is a cool plugin you can use the plugin to use different text different patterns different elements for your video also there are the pack available for free which is sound effect free right click here then you can use different sound effect for your video suppose you want to use whoosh sound effect for transition right so if i click here you can play it back now if you double click it will download and it will import the sound effect here in your project after completing the download you can adjust the position maybe you can adjust the position here if i play it back there is a sound effect going on with our transition so that's it that is how you can use a juice plugin in adobe premiere pro i think you should download the plugin and use the free assets for now and if you think the plugin is helpful for you then you can download their premium package okay let's get back to our next plugin which is sound cube this is not actually a plugin this is a software which is works separately but you can use the sound effect from sound cube application in adobe premiere pro let me show you so first you have to download the software then you have to open it i have already opened the software and from here you can use their service so there are a lot of sound effect and sounds are available here in the software if you want to use any of them then you need to just search it maybe you can search for whoosh for your transition then it will search on their database um, and from here you can play it back maybe you like it if you like it and if you want to use it in adobe premiere pro then you have to select it then from here select adobe premiere pro and click on this arrow it will send that sound effect in premiere pro let's click it 
and wait send clip to adobe premiere pro yes it has already sent the clip in adobe premiere pro now you can adjust the position right maybe here that is a cool thing also you can download some musics from here you can download musics for freesound.org database and uh, in freesound.org you will get a lot of free sound effect and sound so i think it will help you for your next project let's get back to our next plugin which is gerald's premiere pro preset this is not a plugin this is a preset but you can use it in several ways and there are a lot of helpful thing inside of this preset pack right just download here if you download it then you have to install it how you can install it you need to go to effects and from here you need to click here and click import preset right click here and from here navigate where you have downloaded the file from this folder you need to select this gerald's preset 4.0 and click open then it will input the preset in adobe premiere pro and here on the effects panel then you can go to preset section and from the preset section you'll see a folder which is gerald's preset 4.0 if you click here you'll see there are a lot of things going on here now let me show you some of the preset right um, let's navigate here which is handheld camera preset right so from this section maybe i want to use this one small camcorder if i click and drag it here on my video it will apply here and if i play it back you can see there is a handheld thing going on if i just press ctrl z to undo it if i play it back there is no handheld movement right but if i click and drag it there you'll see there is a handheld movement for some video you need to use some handheld movement you can use that thing right now let's see what we have you can use several looks there are some color grading preset from here you can use it if you want to use winter look then you can just click and drag it here it will apply the winter look on your video there are several color grading preset here also you can use transition if you click here and then go to switch pan blur then you can apply it here now if i play it back you can see there is a transition so that is a very handy thing if you want to use different presets inside adobe premiere pro and if you don't want to use any plugin then this is the thing that you should try now let's see what is the next one right this is studio preset for adobe premiere pro you need to download it from here if you want to download it for windows click here and then mac OS plugin is available here after downloading install it then get back to adobe premiere pro go to window and from here click extension and from here click premiere studio right then this panel will appear you can apply different preset from this section if you want to apply any transition then maybe you have to go to demo transition uh, i want to use maybe this zoom in one so place your playhead where you want to apply the transition then select the transition that you want and click add it will import the files and it will apply that transition right if i play it back you can see the transition is happening right also for the next clip i need to use a glitch transition which is this one click here and then click add it will apply the transition here now play it back yeah it is looking cool also you can use some text preset also you can use some color preset or sound effect for your video using this plugin and the final one is motion array plugin which is motion pro you can download it from here you can donate any amount that you want just write it here or you can write zero then click i want this then it will download the plugin after downloading the plugin install it then get back to adobe premiere pro go to extension and from here click motion pro then this panel will appear when you are using it for the first time you will not see the sound effects and preset first you need to download their pack i will put a link in the description you can download the pack from there to use their 1000 sound effect and preset after downloading it just extract the pack and go to here on the setting section then click change path and then show this plugin where you have downloaded the files right and then click select folder then it will automatically load the sound effect and preset so you will see a lot of sound effect here so to use it you need to go to here on the folder section then you can use the sound effect or you can use the preset if you want to use the sound effect click here then the sound effect will load and from here you can play it back and then if you want to input it in adobe premiere pro you need to click apply if you want to use any preset click there 
and from the preset section you see there are several kinds of preset which is transition text callouts etc whatever you want to use just select that maybe i want to use a transition click there then the transition will load from here if you want to use a transition for this section i am deleting the previous one and i want to apply this one right i am just placing my plate here then clicking apply it will download and apply the transition here on this section just wait for a while yeah it has downloaded and if i play it back you can see the transition is happening so that is a very handy plugin if you want to use different transition and different text presets callouts for your next project so that's it that is my top favorite five adobe premiere pro plugin if you want to use those for your next project you can download it i will put a link in the description below so that's it i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye